hi guys welcome back to the channel we're back with another video in the s5 aside i'm enjoying this car so much it's making me happy i don't even think i've really just been home to rest my head besides that i'm either at work or driving my car or making car content but again it's just doing whatever that makes me happy and this car is everything that i could ask for and more so i'm just so thankful to be able to have or to be able to own an s5 but besides that i feel like my content recently has been more geared towards what i'm struggling with currently in my journey rather than just a general topic of the whole self love self appreciation journey following your path your goals and just really getting on track with your own life so i just been going through it i've been going through it <laughs> And I'm just trying to sort everything out and it could be because my life was just disrupted a little bit by my move you know I moved cross country and I moved back across country and kind of just being in that same environment that I was so eager to get away from in the beginning but this phase that I'm learning in my journey is to always appreciate any environment that you're placed in even if it may be a struggle and I've been struggling um, I feel like I'm not as focused I don't feel like I'm as concentrated as I was when I was living on my own in Vegas but like I said it's a journey there's peaks and valleys you're going to have your ups and downs when it comes to this but it's always just seeing the bigger picture or being optimistic and just being optimistic and you know not every part of your journey is going to be cupcakes rainbows and roses and that's okay it just tests you so that you're able to come out a stronger person in the end so though it's been a struggle getting reacclimated to an environment that i've felt my lowest in I'm trying to remind myself that I'm not that same person I've experienced many things a lot of growth when I was out on my own and no matter wherever I'm at I'm able to take those skills and that knowledge anywhere with me because once you know you know there's no going back from not knowing something and trying to keep that at the forefront of my mind has been helping a lot and it helps keep me going it reminds me that there is still so much to live for no matter what what's currently in your path that you may feel is a blockage maybe it's a lesson it's something and it's discomfort a lot of discomfort a lot of confusion also but it really allows you to put your your skills to the test and the knowledge to the test of everything that you learn to be able to implement them again wherever you go wherever you may be any environment that you're in where you're not um, and I think just for me an environment is very important it's very important for my mental health it's very important for my inspiration for my creativity um, I'm a visual person I that's who I am and one thing I miss so, so much about the West was just the landscape, the mountains, the vastness. And though coming back, it's a completely different terrain. Over here, it's more um, dense, like forests, woods, not as much water. Water is a little bit of, water is around. I'm in Maryland, so water is definitely around, but it's just not pretty like the west coast unless you go down to florida but i don't want to talk negative about where i'm from because it has made me appreciate my city a lot more because i'm kind of like oh you know i kind of took some things for granted it actually is really beautiful it's just it's a different beauty and you have to kind of see that as a life lesson in many different things you know i'm beautiful but i struggle with insecurities but you have to learn to appreciate all the beauty that's out here in this world because it comes in many different many different forms 
and you just have to learn to appreciate it also though I do miss the West I do appreciate and admire this beauty in my city as well and that has helped you know shift my mental to a more positive one though I'm longing for the mountains and the palm trees and everything it's still very beautiful here do I know if I'm gonna stay here I don't know but just trying to make do with the situation that I have because I am in a very good situation I don't feel like I'm living in fight-or-flight mode being out on my own it can be tough it can get to you mentally you always feel like you're on edge and anxious so this has allowed me to give me more peace of mind to be able to create more and that was the intention with me moving back was so that I can have this peace of mind and not feeling like I'm in survival or fight or flight mode all the time and it's I'm realizing you you give up some things to gain others so though visually I miss the beauty I'm in a very good position right now and just using it to my advantage and trying to make the most of it so making more content because this is what I'm trying to work towards this is what I want to do be more involved with it and the only way I'm going to get there is if I truly implement my practices every single day and just getting back on track like I was very routine out on my own I can do it again I could do it here with everything that I've already known and learned I can take it with me anywhere so I just want to need that tunnel. <laughs> I can take it with me anywhere and if you feel like you're struggling with the same thing you can kind of just hear how I'm going through a similar change in my life and how I'm choosing to maneuver around this change and make it to the best of my advantage no matter what situation I'm placed in you always have to look up um, you always have to be open-minded and be optimistic because it could get you so far even when you're not feeling the best because you just really have to have yourself at the end of the day you cannot lose that grip on your sanity on your mental health on all things that are you do not lose that grip on yourself and it kind of felt like I was losing it not gonna lie but just trying to remind myself it's a constant daily reminder keep your mind busy off the negativity and more positive just put your mind and your focus to things that are going to serve you so the gym I really need to find a gym out here because I've never been consistent with the gym but just hearing people that are consistent with the gym how good it's been for their mindset their mental health their scheduling their habits just everything so I'm like okay I feel like I need this and so just working out helps a lot with your mental and just feeling like your life is more put together so that's one thing I want to start doing journaling creating content meditating is something I need to do um, but yeah I'm working day by day to get myself back to that high vibration I miss so dearly but I know with the work that I put in it's soon to return and keeping my mind focused and busy on that aspect because it makes me feel good rather than choosing to feel negative about certain things and just choosing that is not good for you it's not going to get you anywhere in life and that's why you know you have to snap out of it if you realize it snap out of it the fastest that you can and trust me when I say just make your mind busy on positive things things that inspire you things that encourage you and it doesn't have to be grand it does not have to be a grand gesture to yourself allow yourself time for a walk paint a picture read a book meditate journal you know go take yourself out to get coffee these little things can mean so much to you 
and it can help you tremendously and I just again I'm sharing my journey I'm putting myself out there just being transparent with what I'm struggling with and how I'm telling myself how to do better it's just sharing the same advice or the same technique with you guys and giving you um, a different change of perspective in ways that can maybe spark your interest or spark your creativity imagination to pull yourselves out of a slump or get yourselves going on certain things that you want out of life but I'm almost to work so that's pretty much it for this video I'm trying we're all trying at the end of the day and as long as we're trying that's good enough so but that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it as always please give it a thumbs up and if you like my content don't forget to subscribe for more bye guys Mwah.